Cuba has dominated the world of amateur boxing since the 1970s. The island nation, with a population of just over 11 million, has topped or been near the top of the medal standings in every Olympics or World Championships for the last 50 years. Of the three boxers who've won three Olympic gold medals, two of them are Cuban, Teofilo Stevenson and Felix Savon. And five Cubans have won double gold, Robisi Ramirez, Guillermo Rigondio, Mario Kindelan, Hector Vinent, Angel Herrera, and Ariel Hernandez. The subject of this first Proust questionnaire for pugilists is one of these fighters. Hector Vincent Charon was born on July 25, 1972, in Santiago de Cuba, a port on the southeast coast of the island and the second largest city in Cuba. Santiago de Cuba has a long history of producing outstanding boxers. Yardene Sugas, Guillermo Rigondio, Dios Belis Hurtado, Florentino Fernandez, Doug Veyant, and the greatest of them all, Jose Mantaquilla Napolis. Santiago de Cuba is also the hometown of world famous entertainer Desi Arnaz. Starting in 1992, Hector won the Playa Giron, Cuba's national championships, six times. At international competitions, Hector won double gold at the Olympics and the World Amateur Championships. He also won gold at the Central American and Caribbean Games and bronze at the Pan Am Games. All his titles came in the light welterweight division where fighters must weigh less than 63.5 kilograms or about 140 pounds. His ambition was to equal or better the record of his countryman Teofilo Stevenson and win gold at four Olympics. Cuba boycott the 84 and 88 Olympics. By 1992, the island had not participated in Olympic Games in 12 years. In Barcelona, Hector was young, he just turned 20, and unheralded. The Olympics were his first senior competition. But he won the gold medal in a cakewalk, outscoring his opponents 91 to 13. This was the first Olympics using computer scoring, which too often caused controversy. Hector left no doubts about his superiority. The light welterweight category in 1992 featured many outstanding boxers. Bronze medalist Leonard Doroftai was the world amateur lightweight champ in 1995, a 1996 Olympic bronze medalist, and as a pro held the WBA lightweight title in 2002-2003. Ninth place finisher Michel Picarillo later won the IBF welterweight championship in 2002. The best of them all was two division multiple world champ, the USA's Vernon Forrest. Vernon finished back in 17th position, losing his first bout. But it was future world champion Oscar de la Hoya who dominated the headlines in 1992 and won gold at lightweight. The Cuban team dominated the competition. Led by their heavyweight superstar Felix Savon, they won seven gold and two silver. By 1996, Hector was a seasoned competitor with an Olympic gold and two amateur world championships to his name. In Atlanta, he outscored his opponents 83-39 to with one stoppage. Russia's Edward Zakharov did give Hector a run for his money in the quarters, losing by only two points.
the roll call of future professional world champions fighting at 63.5 kilograms was shorter than in 1992, with David Diaz of the USA going on to hold the WBC lightweight championship in 2007-2008. Diaz bowed out in the second round of competition, losing to eventual silver medalist Urkal for a ninth place finish. Of course, the biggest name to come out of Atlanta, and not just in the sport of boxing, was a cocky teenage featherweight from Flint, Michigan, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Bronze medalist Mayweather was controversially eliminated in the semifinals. That amateur loss was the last blemish on Floyd's record. Cuba's team had fallen off the boil by a few degrees from 92, winning only four gold and three silver. But Hector, Ariel Hernandez, and Felix Savan did win their second Olympic golds. Eye injuries kept Hector out of competition in 1997. Although he returned to win the Playa Giron in 1998, Hector was forced to retire from boxing in 2000 due to a detached retina in his left eye. He didn't leave the sport, but transitioned into training fighters in Cuba. Hector never turned pro, but he defeated future professional world champs Shane Mosley, Stevie Johnston, Fernando Vargas, David Diaz, Daniel Santos, and Diobella Sertado. Olympic gold medalist Andreas Zulau, Oleg Saitov, Yamankan Ibrahimov, and Hossein Saltani also fell victim to the fistic wizardry of the talented Cuban. In July 2012, Ring Magazine's Doug Fisher ranked Hector at number 5 in the Ring's 10 best Olympic fighters of all time. These days, Hector lives in Istanbul and trains fighters at Mugenhaus Gym. He was kind enough to answer our Proust questionnaire via email in early October 2020. The translation was provided by Google and the audio by Balabolka. I started boxing at 13 years old and I did it because I did not like physical education at school. My greatest influences were all the coaches who worked with me in my career as an amateur boxer. To have won the Olympics and World Championships. The worst moment in my career was when the doctors told me that I could not continue competing due to an injury to my left eye. It was a detached retina. I had several nemeses, but the one I remember the most was in the final of the World Championships in Finland fighting a Finn. They had arranged everything for him to win the World Championship, but he couldn't win it. My greatest attribute was technical tactical intelligence, my greatest weakness was psychological. Angel Espinosa and Pernell Whitaker Yes, because I would have liked to get into the Hall of Fame. Oscar De La Hoya and Felix Trinidad The reason is the precision of the training sessions and the specific goals that guide the training. 